session. Hello my friend, here's Bayan. How are you guys doing today? In this video I'm gonna show you guys how to install over the range microwave hood fan. So just uh, I have few tools here that I might gonna use. A saw, a screw gun, maybe some cock, I might not even need it. Drill, hole saw, tape, and a few screws. Okay, first we're gonna start here. I have a I have to make this hole probably a little bit bigger. What I have here, like uh, see, I have a joist going right through, so I cannot go through with my pipe. So I gotta move the hole this way. I'm just gonna cut it. I don't know if it's a uh, I'm gonna get it the first shot because I don't know specific how big is the pipe up there. But anyway, I'm just gonna make it bigger. This is gonna be a little bit dusty, mess, but uh, let's see. I just try to feel if there is any water or anything or that I can cut but uh, looks to be there's nothing in there when I know that I'm just gonna put my mask to protect a little bit and should be good to go I'm just gonna use this so Okay, I have a... I gotta go up on the attic, so let me prepare it here and uh, I bring the step ladder and gotta go on the hole. My pipe is right there, so I'm just gonna find where it's gonna come out. Isolated pipe going to the roof. Pipe is going down, guys. So since I am here, I need to open a, a second hole for the dryer, so I'm just gonna go on that end and uh, make a, a little mark and then I open it from the bottom. Let me see. Yeah guys, I just put a, a little mark in here that way uh, I can open the hole from the bottom. filters another filter an adapter few sets of screws just gonna put it all here close by instruction manual 
Yeah, instruction manual should keep all the time uh, together with the, the appliance. Plate. And here we have the clearance. Wait, did they say two inches or two inches from the cooking top? This case here is just a. Uh, we asked the order the cabinet to come a little bit higher, but they just come a little bit lower than I expect. I was hoping to, to have the microwave sit a couple inches above the cabinet to look nice, but that's not gonna happen because the space from here to here is not uh, long enough. I can see that, but we go ahead. It's not a uh, full electric range should be okay. They say we need a level, but we're not gonna use the level in this case because I'm just gonna pull my measurement from there. Here we have the bracket, one bracket that we have to install. That is this bracket, I gotta remove it and uh, place it to the wall. And then we have uh, There's two long screws that are gonna go right there. I'm gonna show you guys how to open it. This is about it. And then you guys have, uh, here are the measurements, like, uh, we have the measurements all there, so. Probably some microwave would be would have a little bit different measurements. But for this one we asked for 16 and a half. So I just gonna go. This is to set up my bracket that is there right now. I'm just gonna go from here. 16 and a half. The bottom of it. They have this place where you're gonna we're gonna sit the microwave right on it, and uh, I don't know if you could see. We have the notch there where it's just gonna. Once we have it on the wall, we're just gonna very much throw the microwave in there, and gonna be about it and few screws on top. Let's just start with this bracket. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is the thing that I'm talking about, usually the, the microwave stay 2-3 inches above the height of the cabinet, but this one is the way it is. See, it's not a much space to foero, so I'm just gonna 
gonna measure it from the back. Take a look. So this is a plus about one eight. So I gonna put the gonna go eight five eight. 858 eight by 1 and 3 8. I'm just gonna go 1 and 3 8. 8 and 5 8. Let me recheck it. You guys can see the screw how it is. So I'm just gonna use this drill bit. It would be good to sit part in there and uh, allowed me a little bit more space to put the screws up there when we have the microwave up. because you have a little tab in there and you have a block in there so it's just one way in there's no other way oh another thing that I need to do need to make a hole for this guy I almost forgetting that okay another measurement Same way, measurement we go, see, 858 by, we have a five and a quarter, but I'm gonna give one eight more, gonna be five and three eighths, five and three eighths, because you see this part here is a little bit too out than this part, so I'm just gonna give one eight more. make a, a big hole I might just make a, a gap in there with this up would work the same I have the I have the sawzall right here so I just gonna That should work, so I'm just gonna leave my three screws up there. Let me see if I can open it. Plenty of space. I'm gonna find it here just to fit it in. On the bracket. Once I have it in, just gonna make, make sure the the cable, everything else, is on the right spot. So I just show you guys it. It is uh, sitting right there, so it's safe for me to just to. Hold it there. 
see. Oh, yeah, I don't have everything. Looks good, but uh, I just have to cut a little bit more on a on the hole in here. Let me make my life a little bit easier. I'm just gonna put the microwave here for now. So I get, I gotta bring it down. There you go, it's just my uh, enough to get too tight in there. You get a little bit stuck on the plywood. Let's cut this plywood here a little bit more. This is a little trick that I do. You can bend the blade a little bit. Probably you're gonna, still gonna have a little bit issue when put it in. Gonna bend a little bit more, but I fix it from the top. Yeah, guys, I just show you here because this thing really happens in real life. When we're doing some stuff, all the time is a little thing that show up on the way. Looks a bit fit like a shark, let's see the screws. Let's see if we hit the hole the first time. Oh yeah. And you see whenever you're doing the screws, make sure it goes soft like that means the it is straight. I have one adapter, another adapter. That I can use up there, and so I have here. I have to set up one plug. I just gonna use one of this plate. Gonna screw it right on the back, and the plug will go right there. Yeah, guys, you just uh, gotta make sure that uh, the power is off before you connect. It. is what I'm gonna do right now. My wire here is a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna cut it. And I'm just gonna just leave enough for work and uh, push it back, so nothing too crazy. Just gonna, like I said, nothing too crazy, just gonna Cut a bit back and pretty much about it. And then I'm just gonna go R14 four, wire. There I go. Maybe a little bit more. Perfect. Get my plug, <coughs> ground wire, and put ground wire right there. And then I'm gonna go make sure you put these guys on the right side. Just stop them in. Add one there, just put them in the hole. There you go. I'm just gonna wrap up my leg tape on it just to be on the safe side on top of the screws. Uh, 
I'm just gonna put a little bit of cock on the hole that way that uh, bug doesn't come in or anything like that. Gonna put a few screws in there to hold it in place. The plug is on the spot, it is safe, so I'm just gonna connect the pipe. Now what we do, plug it in, we're good to go. Next step would be this guy. I'm gonna trim it a little bit on the back in here, just to make sure it's not gonna bug my flopper in there. just want to cut it, I just uh, use a thin snip, nothing too crazy, kind of to cut. And then I'm gonna try to get uh, some tape in there. The thing with this in here sometimes is just uh, because uh, it's good to have all sealed, that way no air would escape from the stove and go inside the cabinet. At the same time, this part gonna be done after, so I'm just gonna try to seal it as, as much as I can. What I'm gonna try to do here, I'm just gonna bend it a little bit, and I'm just gonna try to push in that way, get it to so be stuck right on the back of uh, the microwave. There you go. Now, I know it's uh, right there, see, I can, uh, I can feel it. At least one side. I would put some cotton, but I'm just not gonna do it right now because I still gotta connect this pipe. So and then we'd, we'd, it, it would move and the coconut would do the job. Okay, we'll get a piece of pipe and get this, get it connected. And uh, if you're going to the roof, it's very important that you have it uh, isolated pipe. And you have a chance, like I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna put extra isolator around it, otherwise it would be a lot of condensation. Guys, now I have this because uh, I need it to fit there, so I just have this. Uh, this is nip, as you can see. How I'm gonna make I'm just gonna put it there. This is to make this part smaller that way, fit inside the other one. This what it would do is just uh, bend the pipe that way it becomes smaller. Let me more bend the diameter gonna get smaller. Let's see if it's gonna work right now. This works, yeah. We have everything fit in here, so I'm just gonna wrap up this with a nice tape in here. This tape is a good tape, it sticks very good. There you go guys, this part is done. 
I'm just gonna plug it in and check what is inside. Nothing to burn. I stick the power on. Let's see. Power is on. Light is work. Pen is working. And thank you very much for watching this video guys. I hope you guys can do it and if you have any question comment just uh, leave it down the comment section and we're here to answer and uh, thank you thank you for support and I love you guys